After years of debate, the Supreme Court has found the Affordable Care Act to be constitutional. Protests raged on at the steps of the Supreme Court while the justices made their ruling. As news of the ruling trickled outside, opponents booed the court's decision, while Obamacare supporters emerged claiming victory, saying that with Supreme Court backing, the health law isn't going anywhere. So this is an extraordinary moment and the effort to defeat the Affordable Care Act has been stopped in its tracks and now we get on with the task of implementing health reform in every state all across the country. This is truly a hallelujah moment for America's families. The Supreme Court has made it clear what we have known all along, that those trying to block health care reform are standing on the wrong side of history. For those of us who believe that quality health care is a right and not a privilege, this is a great day. It is time. It's time for Speaker this Boehner and the Republicans to put politics behind us, join attack. with us in ensuring that every American has access attack. to quality, affordable care. While the Supreme Court may have given a green light to implementation of the health reform law, opponents aren't giving up. The Republican Doctors' Caucus noted that while the conservative Chief Justice John Roberts voted for constitutionality of the law, he said that it's not the court's job to overturn it, but instead the job of Congress. And Republican physicians have heard that message loud and clear. So we pledge, of course, we're going to, going to in fact vote for a full repeal in about two weeks. Perhaps it doesn't get through the Senate or to the president. But as again, as Justice Roberts said, if you don't like what Congress is doing for you now, if you do not like the policies that are coming out of Washington, and it's up to you to throw those out who have given you bad policies. One of the first thing a doctor does when talking to the patient is listen. When you see a nurse come into the room, they listen. That's what did not happen before, and that's what all of us pledge to do. Listen to the American people and understand. Are there some provisions in the original bill that is worth keeping? Probably. Let's talk about those. Are there a number of things of serious concern? Is yes. But we've also talked about exploring such things, allowing people to join purchasing groups, allow you to buy across state lines, look at community health centers, look at the reforms we're doing with prescription drugs, uh, put the doctors more in charge of using uh, the, the best of science and medicine at the time as opposed to prescriptions by an IPAP board. Those are some of the many things. And I b believe what we're going to be doing is taking a number of steps on this instead of one comprehensive bill. Dr. With IMMG Medical Media, this is Francis Correa.